All right, guys, I'm about to get started on a uh, live stream here. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to go ahead and uh, I'm about, about to get signed into uh, Instagram. So if you can bear for a sec, I'll go ahead and get started here. All right, guys, now that we're live on Instagram, thank you so much for tuning in. It's a pleasure to have you all here uh, on this uh, mini haul that I have. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a live stream of a build as well. So once again, thank you so much for being here. Greatly appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and get started with our first um, part of our haul. I was able to uh, get this Porg via Mercari. Uh, if you're curious of what Mercari is, I'll go ahead and uh, put the information on our YouTube uh, channel so that you can check it out. Make sure that you subscribe using my code. Um, that'll give you $10 towards purchase and up to $50 in credits uh, when you sell uh, something through Mercari. So it benefits both of us. All right, so appreciate your support on that. That'd be great. So uh, this pork here, I picked it up for uh, just forty dollars. It's a great set. It's uh, it's been retri retired for um, I think nearly a year now. So I was very happy I was able to get this pork. It's really cool. Uh, it didn't come with instructions or a box, but I'm okay with it because I'm just going to use this as a backdrop. So that's uh, that's the first thing that we got. It's a great little Star Wars character here, and it comes with a with a little pork here and a plaque so that was the uh, first item on the list i'm going to go ahead and go to item number two which is uh a brand new sealed um resistance a-wing starfighter uh this was released i think it was either late last year or early this year and it comes with 269 pieces it's a great uh, build i do intend on having this on a live stream here in the near future so stay tuned for that I was able to pick this up for free, absolutely free. Thanks, uh, thanks to you, the viewers, who signed up through my Mercari link. Um, you know, I was able to get some credit. So this is made possible by you, and I really appreciate that. And I want to give back. So by doing so, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a live stream on this. So please stay tuned, and uh, we'll check this out. All right, guys. So the next uh, box here I have. Um, which is a newly released set. It was released here in August. And I went ahead and picked this up in Best Buy of all places. I had a $10 gift certificate available and I went ahead and just leveraged that gift certificate to get this next set here. So we'll go ahead and open this bad boy up. All right, this is really exciting to get the Mandalorian and the child brickheads. So uh, this is a new theme for me. It is Lego Star Wars, but it's the brickheads edition. So um, I'm gonna, I'm curious to see what this is gonna look like. And I'll go ahead and be doing a live stream on this too. So we can chime in and, and chat about it. So it's gonna be really excited or exciting to have this on a live stream. So I'm looking forward to that. Again, this is a $10 gift certificate from Best Buy, and I ended up paying $10 out of pocket. So that makes me very happy. So thank you, Best Buy. I appreciate it. All right. So the next uh, set here is one I've been dying to get my hands on for quite some time. It's just I haven't been able to justify the price. Um, this set has been retired for quite some time, and I do believe it was released in 2012. And uh, that was obviously before I started my Lego collection journey. And, uh, you know, I caught wind of this set as it retired. So at that time, obviously the price went up, but, but since then the price has doubled. So I just, I couldn't justify it. However, once again, through Mercari, I was able to get a great opportunity and purchase it at a great price. So what made it extra special was that the seller 
I guess he's a huge Lego enthusiast and he just went ahead and included an additional set. So I was able to get both sets for a relatively cheap price. In fact, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm just in awe of how great of a deal I was able to get on this set. And the set I'm referring to is the Lego uh, Monsters uh, Fighter Haunted House. And uh, yeah, this is this is just a great piece. I was just looking at the reviews that uh, Jang Bricks uh, did on this set, and it just motivated me to do this quickly. But uh, I think I'll hold off to it until the holiday season, which is the the beginning of it, which starts with Halloween. So it's uh, not necessarily a holiday. I uh, enjoy celebrating, but I do enjoy looking at uh, all the other stuff that my neighbors put up and. So I just want to go with an October like monster theme month for for this channel. So I, I hope you guys tune in for that, and uh, we got some great stuff coming in. Uh, so yeah, the the owner went ahead and sealed everything in the in the bags here, these Ziploc bags. Um, I was looking at the uh, bricks, and they're like brand new. So it looks like he just had it for display, and this was adult owned. So you can see the set number, Lego Monster Fighter set number one zero two two eight, and I do believe it comes with uh, fifteen hundred pieces. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Uh, feel free to correct me on the comments. I appreciate that. That's huge of you. Uh, let's see here. There's another box here, or another bag. Came with it there. Um, mini figs were in here. All included. No deans, never played with. No dust. Uh, has a couple of these white ghosts here. Couple of white ghosts. You got uh, Dracula That's right here. Uh, you have this zombie style um, minifigure. Here he's a good chef. You got Frankenstein. Now, these guys are in really great shape. And uh, you have, I don't know, a vampiress here. Succubus, I'll call her. Uh, blood sucking vampire. That's what the book Blood Sucking Vampire looks like. Well, look, be careful; those teeth will sink right into you. So uh, <laughs> that's what a blood sucking vampire looks like. Anyways, um, that was funny. Um, yeah, those are the five mini figs it comes with, and this is the extra set that the uh, that they just you know threw in. They're just great people, and I'm um, very appreciative for, for that. Um, here it is. Here's the set it came with. It comes with this uh, wolf-looking guy, and looks like this guy's some kind of hunter. But this is a this is like a brand new set as well. These things are in really great condition. Literally, they're like brand new. Not a single scratch on these things. So, um, that will be nice uh, to have this truck and this tree parked right next to the haunted house. All right, moving on to our next um, Lego set. And I actually picked this up through Craigslist, and you're seeing it here on the screen. Uh, this is the Creator Le Lego Expert uh, Ferris wheel. Um, I did own this at one time. I bought it brand new um, straight from the Lego store, but you know how it is with Lego. Uh, we get tired of things, and then we just build them, display them, and then we get rid of them for more Lego. So, um, this I was able to pick up at a good price. In fact, I paid what it retailed for the store. So that was a $200 um, purchase. Now these sets are going over $350 on eBay and over $450 on Mercari. Uh, those are brand new prices. So this is basically brand new itself. Um, it was adult owned. Um, never played with. Literally all the pieces are here. They're like brand new, like mint condition pieces. Uh, came with all the uh, minifigures too, so I'm happy about that. I'm not sure if I'll be building this anytime soon. It was just more of a nostalgic thing. Great opportunity as an investment maybe, who knows? I'll just have it parked in there for a while, put it on the backlog and, and see whether or not I build it. But uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the Ferris wheel here. I'll go ahead and leave that here for you guys to enjoy while I, I do our last and final uh piece of the haul here which is a lego star wars bible first battle pack 
not one, but two. I was very fortunate enough to pick these up today um, at a local toy store, independent. I, I don't know. I just, it was a shot in the dark. I asked them if they were coming in. They said they would be coming in and they went ahead and actually reserved two um, for me. They didn't think they were going to get them until September. And I was like, okay, well, I'll be happy with that. I know this thing's going to sell out quick. And um, I got I got lucky. It got here today. They called me. I picked them up. So I actually have them before any of our local Target or Walmart stores. I have them and a couple of weeks from the Lego store having them. So I feel very fortunate to have these two Lego sets. You know, for some reason, I'm having some technical difficulties here with my Instagram. Um, it says I have a poor connection. All right, there we go. Hey, Cool Factor, welcome. Check it out. Five of First Battle Pack. We got the Cool Factor in the house. I'm 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 streaming through YouTube. If you want to go ahead and chime in there, that'd be great. Cool guys, Mini Fig Bricks, welcome. So yes, I got the Five of First Battle Pack, and let's just go ahead and and jump right into this. I'm going to go ahead and build this tonight. Uh, I'll be here as long as uh, I'm building this. So let's go ahead and see how this opens. Looks like you have uh, stick your thumb there. To open it up from the side here. Actually, I got so excited about wanting to build this thing, I forgot to tell you what set number it is. This is a uh, set number seven five two eight zero. It's the five hundred first Legion Clone Troopers, aka the five hundred first Battle Pack. Thank you, Ryan M and R Productions, and uh, has two hundred and eighty five pieces. So, this is great stuff. Okay. Has a uh, you know a couple of uh, has a jet trooper and it comes with uh, three clone troopers five first and if you consider battle droids uh, minifigures there's two battle droids in there too. Hey Mike, I got them at a very special location, so I'll give you the details when we uh, when we connect. All right, if you want to come pick one up so you can build on your channel, just let me know and uh, stop by and pick it up. No problem. I'll have it ready for you, so we can uh, we can review it on your channel. All right, let's, uh, let's see here. Get into this thing. It has about eighty-two pages. Of course, it has some advertising in the back. It has all the uh, summer twenty twenty sets here. Got the Ahsoka. I actually pre-ordered that through Amazon, and I uh, want to thank Ryan from MNR Productions for posting that on his Instagram. I went ahead and clicked on that, and I pre-ordered that information. Hey, no rush, uh, Mike. You're you're good to go. Whatever you need, I, I just just ask. I'll I'll help you with whatever you need. So no biggie. Take as much time as you need. But I do have this Bible first here waiting for you. All right, so. Let's go ahead and move on to page number one. Looks like page number one is the two 501st clone troopers, two droids, and the speeder. So let's just get started. I don't think we'll be here too long. I actually only bought these things for the minifigures. I don't care too much for the, uh, for the accessories. Stickers here comes with 10, 10 stickers. Go for it, Mike. I'll see you there. YouTube. Appreciate it, bud. All right, let's get these mini feet started. Uh, I don't have CBAS on the controls today. Um, he had a long day. Um, he started uh, volleyball training, and he had spent the night at his friend's house last night. And uh, he's just relaxing in bed. All right, so there you go. Less than a minute. I got this uh, cool minifigure going. Hey, Mike, welcome to the stream. It's great to have you here. Thanks for the inspiration. You know, watching you on those uh, quarantine uh, Sundays building stuff made me want to just go ahead and, 
and do what I'm doing now. So thanks, bud. Eventually we could do Discord together or something. Who knows? I'm, I'm new to all this. Mike, I see you're working late today. I enjoyed watching your video. I'm sure you do, you're a busy guy. I really enjoyed your vlog on pens. I do like to uh, write myself. If you guys haven't seen Mike's channel, it's the cool factor. Uh, I'll put a card up here if I can, I don't know. I guess he'll teach me or, or I'll figure it out, but I'll put a card so you can check out his channel. But uh, Mike did an interesting vlog the other day and uh, he was talking about pens. And I appreciate pens because uh, in my business, I use pens quite a bit. And uh, I'm, I wanted to share with you here real quick. My, um, actually, I got it over here. You'll appreciate this. Yeah, that was a great idea, Mike. Um, it actually made me want to dust my passion planner um, off. I had been using this the entire year, and it just made my work so efficient on a daily basis. It just held me accountable to whatever it is I needed to do. And what was great about this is I was able to journal, kind of do a recap of my entire month, and uh, do it like a daily journal, daily task, and I could review my goals constantly. So... You know, you can break this down and it works really good. Um, it's just really, really personalized to the individual. So it gives you your, your passion roadmap here. You know, it's a game changer, your weekly layout. So this was great if you're doing YouTube channels, Mike. Um, this is great. And then your monthly reflection. So that's when you, you reflect on your month and see how much you've grown. And I know, Mike, this is like, this is right up your alley. So I... I you know, actually, I want to buy you one of these things uh, so you can have. So this is your passion roadmap. How it works is you get your lifetime. You have your wish list here right in, this, right in the center. Then you have your lifetime goals here, your three-year goals, your three-month goals, and then your one-year goals. So these are all designed to do short-term and long-term goals. And it just gives you a breakdown on how to do it. And it's, and it's really cool. Yeah, that's great. Always grateful uh, for everything. Life's so short and fragile, especially these days with uh, uncertain times and, and sicknesses and illnesses, you know, just, just getting tough out there. So uh, this is, gives me the opportunity to, to really ref uh, reflect. Uh, one of the things I reflected recently was uh, how different, how are you different between this past month and the month before? And I, and I, told, I notated here that my mind is more focused. So it's thinking sharp, you know, thinking sharp, you know, and it says, who are you especially grateful for in the past month? And I put that out at the time. I was grateful and always will be grateful for my family. Uh, we had an amazing trip in Lake Arrowhead, right? Lake Arrowhead. And then it says, name three things that you can improve on the upcoming month. So you're already planning ahead, right? And what concrete actions um, you can take. Uh, you know, towards working towards those, uh, to, in those improvements. And um, one of the things that I put was having better eating habits, which I, I've actually been better on that. Um, better workouts four times a week. I've actually increased four times to six weeks. And then fa family time, you know, schedule dates for, for family fun and, and barbecues. And, and I invested uh, in barbecues. And in fact, I was watching you, Mike, as I was barbecuing. And it was great. Just like, you know, you're watching me today while you're editing. Um, I was watching you while I was uh, barbecuing. So it was, it was good stuff. Yeah, Mike. Lake Arrow had so much fun. One of these days, we'll, we'll have to get the families together. We're quite the travelers, too. So, uh, you know, we can do an Airbnb or something and have the kids hang out. 
well, you'll have free babysitters. <laughs> uh, the kids would help. Keep the kids entertained. You know, we can do dad stuff. <laughs> All right. Moving on to uh, the build here. Uh, I got a little sidetrack there, but I'm passionate about goals. I, I really, I truly believe in the power of writing your goals down. Uh, in fact, I keep my goals with me. Um right next to me here some of the things i've accomplished and, and it's interesting because some of the stuff here that i wrote in 2009 i've actually been able to accomplish you know so just real quick take a look you had to peek um the stuff that's highlighted are the goals i've actually completed and and one of the things that was uh that stood out to me uh was um you know in 2009 i wrote that we would be taking a family trip to Europe in 2012. And ironically, like subconsciously, like it was in the back of my, my mind. And we actually did end up going to our first trip in Europe to Europe in 2012. So there's other things that I have in here that I can literally write a book about. And I can't believe this stuff happened, but I wrote it down and, and, and it happened. So goals are important guys. Just keep, keep it up. Hey, Penetrate. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Good stuff happening today. We got the 501st Battle Pack coming. Thanks for uh, tuning into the channel. We're starting off on page number, actually bag number one. There's only two bags in this set. So far, we have the two clone troopers and the two droids. I have an incredible amount of energy today. Um, I've been doing the intermediate fasting uh, for the past week and a half, and it's actually been working really well. I don't know what's going on with my Instagram. I just have a bad connection here. I should put some music on in the background. It's kind of quiet. Go ahead and do that right now. guys thanks for uh, tuning in just did a quick uh haul and uh the haul came with a couple of 501 uh battle packs that i'm building now sorry guys my phone's blowing up too All right, let's go ahead and let's do this. All right, this is chill out music. I got a playlist here. I'll go ahead and include that. On the cards.
Mike, I don't know how you do it, man. Multitasking. You do this so well. You're such a natural. <laughs> My mind's going everywhere. I'm going to. All right. I'm going to try to get back live on Instagram. All right. There we go. my first mistake all right there you go quick fix have i told you guys i'm not the greatest builder i'm not i just enjoy the process it allows me to focus to chime in guys Looks like I'm almost done with this speeder. That didn't take too long. All right, looks like we have our first sticker. Um, but I want to pass on that for now. Do no stickers. for sticker number two, but I'm going to go ahead and pass on that as well.
this is kind of a spur of the moment thing I just felt today would be a good day to build it you know I was excited I got the 501st battle pack and I was like you know what I'm just gonna throw it up even if it's just me here on the stream I'll build it but I thank you guys for for being here I'm a very uh, spontaneous person, although I know I organize my stuff, but when it comes to my, my personal life, um, I'm so structured at work, I just, I'm, I'm very spontaneous in real life, that's for sure. Well, I mean, real life is work, but you get it. I'm just, I'm kind of the spur of the moment. If I'm feeling it, I do it. But I also like to plan, so those are very rewarding things when it's planned and it happens. It's really rewarding. Now, I'm not big on, uh, on stickers, so that's why I'm kind of bypassing them. I know it makes the set look a lot better, but I don't feel like dealing with stickers tonight. I'm okay with it. I think you guys can hear my 22-year-old uh, daughter in the background. Uh, she acts like she's 15. Uh, but I love that about her. <laughs> she's like the house clown. She makes everyone laugh. I know I can always count on her for a good laugh. Always. Never fails. Bass is a crack up too. He's like a mixture of uh, his two sisters. You know, he has the discipline of his middle, uh, our middle daughter, our middle child. Um, but he's got his older sister's goofiness, and those two together are like two peas in a pot. I mean, they're inseparable, and uh, they're this is the walking comedy show with those two. So I was very happy he picked that up. Okie dokie, this is so cool. Well, I've been building a lot of used Lego lately. So feeling and touching new Lego is very enjoyable. Getting into the blasters here. That was quick. Thank you. 
we're already uh, on page 29. So I haven't timed this, but uh, it feels like it's going quick. In my opinion, I, I know I'm not finished with this, but uh, in my opinion, I feel like this is the best $30 set ever created by Lego. Let me know your thoughts and what your favorite $30 set is on the comments or here in the chat. You have these things that look like a ski that go on the side of this. Interesting. Oh, I know what I missed up. I missed a spot here. I was trying to figure out where that piece went. All right, I found it. I made a mistake. I was, uh, I put this on instead of this. So I was like trying to figure out. Well, we had to attach it to the speeder, but I just, I realized what my mistake was. All right, we got a quick fix there. Not so quick fix. All right, now we got it. Perfect. I struggle with that. <laughs> One mistake in Lego can just throw everything off. So um, we thankfully we got it going. I figured it out. All right, we'll make that same mistake twice. some reason my internet's really slow today extremely slow
Write it right in there. So I got an unexpected call today from a friend I haven't heard from in nearly two years. And uh, it was nice to hear his voice. Caught me by surprise. But you know what? What's great about friendships is when you when you have deep relationships, um, you just pick up right where you left off. So it was great, great stuff. So we have these two, and we're good to go. Looks like I have a couple of extra pieces, which I'm pretty sure um, I forgot to put them somewhere because I'm like that. Let me go ahead and backpedal here. <laughs> Where I left off. Forgot about the seat. You got one there. Let me see where else this uh, this piece here goes. This black piece. This one right here. All right, guys. Looks like we have bag one completed. Took a few minutes. A couple of mistakes, but we got it done. We have the speeder. It's complete. I didn't install the uh, the stickers, but here's what it looks like. It's really clean. Really cool speeder. It's kind of thick for what you get. Um, I do think it's uh, thicker than um, Ezra's speeder bike from Star Wars Rebels. Uh, I, li I do like that one much better, though. But this one feels solid. It's a solid build for those few pieces. So not bad. All right, let's go to the walker here. The chicken walker, got chicken legs. Now this one looks like it's gonna take a little longer than the last one, but I, I should be able to breeze through it. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Like I said, it's a solid build. All right. Got the Jet Trooper here. Unlike the old uh, 501st Battle Troopers, these have white, white arms and uh, blue printing on the torso, legs, and on the uh, on the helmet. And in this battle pack, the uh, jetpack trooper does come with the uh, with the blue printed arms. Print to torso. Oops, I forgot the jetpack. Where is that thing? It comes in blue. Here it is. Bam! I like this. Look at this. It is beautiful. It's 
guy's ready to take flight. Look at that. Can't wait to display this with my collection. <laughs> it is dope, man. This is so dope. Look at that blaster. Jetpack. Cool printing. Last but not least, Clone Trooper here, 501st. All right, let's go ahead and go straight to the build. You're going to have fun building this set. I know you will. Always enjoy the uh, enjoy the royalty free music. Hey, no problem, Mike. Uh, just let me know. I'm, I'm I've been working from home mainly, so uh, that'll be great. I do have an alternating schedule at work, but uh, Morty, the majority of the time, I'm I'm still working at home. I just find it to be more efficient that way. And I think we've all adapted to this virtual world that we're living in. Hey Mike, I can't wait to see your, uh, your project with that Batmobile. I'm really excited. I haven't stopped talking or thinking about it since you mentioned it. I'm really happy and excited for you. Looks like it's going to be a great project. We should do like a viewing party or something like you did for NASA. Only this time it won't be interrupted or, uh, or taken down. <laughs> Oh, that's great. I look forward to uh, looking at those details. So exciting. Whatever it is uh, you're working on, I'm sure it's, uh, it's great stuff. If you guys don't know who uh, Mike is, he was formerly of uh, Brick Vault. 
and to me, he, he was doing incredible things there uh, with live streams and going on Twitch and all that stuff. Like I literally used to just go in there. Uh, uh, at the time, I was self-employed, so I was going there when I should have been working. So uh, because the stuff was just so good, I'd never seen anyone out there do it. And he did it well. And he really upped his game. And now he's on his own. He's been doing very well. And uh, he's had some great opportunities through uh, through his channel. And it's just nice to see him breaking through and, and uh, you know, seeing his journey. This has been incredible. I was like rooting for the... You know, for the guy that's uh, doubted. And uh, he, he definitely surprised a lot of people and he's doing well on this channel and in, and in his personal life as well. The underdog, <laughs> if you will. Yeah, my pleasure, Mike. You only have one life, man. And I know it gets riskier when you take when you have family and, and you're trying to follow your passion. That's a, that's a very difficult thing to do. And it's good to see that there's people out there like Mike that can actually balance it and have you don't have time for everything. You know, sometimes you have to put extra hours, but that's okay. That's part of the journey and the process. moving pretty quickly. I thought it was going to take longer, but I'm moving at a good pace. Better than expected. Sometimes the process is better than the actual reward. That's my struggle. Um, and that's I think that's what always gets me going. It's just um, I really enjoy the process more than, more than the actual reward. And even that's a struggle because I, I just working on trying to actually um, realize that I'm worthy of it or that I actually work for it. I don't know. My mentality is just like, just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. And um, that was my struggle of just being able to just sit down and that, not that I want to marinate in whatever it is I did, but just really give me the time to let the emotion uh, sink in. I, I didn't, I never really allowed that. I just kept on going. It was like, yeah, great. I did it. And, and what's my next goal? As you can see, I'm like, my goal list there. Um, and I just kept on going, but now it's like I, I'm not a, as in a hurry to accomplish my goals like I used to because I know, I mean, I have, I have responsibilities as a father and to myself economically. And in the past, I, uh, I struggle with that, you know. But I, I'm in a better place now, and I can actually take the time to enjoy 
uh, the process and the actual reward that comes along with it. But my adrenaline comes more from the process and the journey. Yeah, exactly. You know what's interesting? I was watching um, Greg from Brick Attack, and I think it was uh, Bits and Pieces episode 23 when he was talking about uh, doing a, a video for the future. So in other words, he wanted to have it like on uh, a premiere date, you know, five or ten years from now. And, um, you know, I was actually considered doing it because – we can create a video like we, we are now and we can talk about our doubts and then we can premiere it a year from now and see if we caved into our fears or not. And I think that would be interesting to just go through that. So something I, I, I'm actually considering doing and, and just taking action on it. I know for myself, I've had some recent growth and I, I was a little fearful, you know, uh, but fear can do one of two things. It can either make you, um, it can paralyze you, freeze you, meaning not take action, or it can make you courageous. So what makes an individual courageous is when they acknowledge their fear, but they still move forward. And uh, that's where I'm at now. Uh, that's my journey. Um, I did have some fears coming into my new position at work, and it was a little intimidating. I never told anyone. I just said it was... I was uh, prepared for it, but the reality is um, I was shaking in my boots. Um, but once I got the opportunity and I sat on my desk, if you will, um, and that big chair, I just felt so comfortable. I felt like this is always meant for me. And uh, I'm doing my life's work. And that's what makes it really rewarding. I feel like my job is a reward for all the sacrifices I did. Uh, everything I've given up because uh, I, I did give up a lot to be there but ultimately I'm happy and um, I don't feel like I work when I'm when I'm at work yes I have big responsibilities massive massive responsibilities um, but it comes with the territory you know and, and I'm and I and I signed up for it and I, and I really 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 enjoy it like I, I feel like I don't work I feel like I'm the luckiest person um, in my company because I, I get to do what I enjoy doing, which is helping people live an exceptional life every day. And, uh, you know, I take some of the hits for them um, to do that. And, and, I'll, and I'll do it any day of the week. And that's what, that's what makes it rewarding for me. Yeah, seek discomfort. Absolutely. You know, that's what stood out uh, when you, on your videos when you when you came back, Mike. Um, you know, I watched your uh, your video on you know explaining why you took a step back and uh, and how you're coming back to your channel. I know because I've been. I know what you're going through because I've been there. So your story resonated with me quite a bit. And I know what it takes to come back from that deep spot. But once you come back, it's like you were able to rejuvenate and start all over again with a new mindset, a focused mindset, one that's dialed in, ready to go no matter what. And it's a great feeling. One of the things I talk about at work quite a bit is um, meds. So the acronym for, for meds. Hey, Mason, my dog's here. It's not M, it's not for Mason. Um, Hey, Seabass, what's up? Hello. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for hanging out with us. Mm -hmm. So uh, going back to meds, um, it's uh, meditation. Um, many people have different ways of meditating. 
um, the way I, for me, I, I use prayer as meditation. That's kind of, that's my therapy. But for others, it may be yoga. It could be meditating on your, on your goals, things that you want to achieve in life, your, you know, things you want to achieve physically, you know, mentally, economically. It's just having the time to meditate, right? And then E is for exercise. Uh, for me, exercise has always kind of been a struggle for me. I go up and down and wait based on my emotions. Uh, but now that I've been working out, um, I lost some weight, but more than so, I've been I've been dropping inches, which, you know, it's a, it's a great thing. It's a great feeling. And I think that's why I have energy right now, aside from, you know, doing the intermediate fasting, I've been working out. And it just, you know, whenever I get anxiety or I'm feeling a little down, um, you know, depression or whatnot, I, I always feel comfortable going on to the exercise machine. And this is exercise for me too. You know, building Lego is a mental exercise for me where I can focus and just kind of get my mind off the anxiety. Um, this is very therapeutic for me. And it's cool that I get to do this with my son. So it's it makes it that much better. So that's what the E stands for. And then D is for diet. I find many times that when I have sugar, um, it really affects me. It affects my sleep. It affects my mood. And it just gets me hungrier. So if, if I'm trying to cope with the emotions, I just tend to go towards sugar. And, and that just disrupts everything because I keep wanting more. It's like sugar is like a, like a trigger for me. It just it keeps wanting more. In it. And I'm like, well, I can't have more sugar. You know, my family is prone for certain Ill illnesses. So I'm like, I don't want that. So then I turn to other things. And that's where I, that's where I get this. So um, I've been really focusing on diet lately. And, and I, I can tell you for sure that I definitely feel the difference um, in my mindset and how my body feels. And last, last but not least, I think is the most important. And I do believe it's underrated because of our society. Uh, it's built to, you know, grind and work hard. And, you know, I'm the first person in the building, last person out kind of mentality. And yeah, that worked great in my 20s, not so great in my 30s. And it definitely does work in my 40s. So um, sleep is so important uh, for recovery just to recover from your day the stress uh, your, that you take emotionally mentally and physically it's it's always good to give your time enough time to sleep for your body to recover and repair itself while you sleep uh, because sleep deprivation is a form of uh, what do you call that interrogation so when people are getting interrogated um they, they do sleep depression or uh, deprivation uh, because they know they can get their um, their subject to, to crack. Uh, so if you're not taking care of your sleeping patterns, then there's a lot of consequences that come with that. So that's uh, that's the acronym for meds. I learned that in 2005. I just didn't apply it until this year. So uh, that's just the way life goes. So yeah, recovery is, at the end of the day, recovery is important, guys. I went a little tangent there, but uh, I just wanted to share that with you and tell you how important that is for yourself and your mental state, especially during these times. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. Getting that mile in late. Doesn't matter what time you get it in. Get it in. <laughs> I do my cardio in the morning. But check it out, Mike. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in. I appreciate you. Um, I'll see you soon. Hopefully, I get to see you tomorrow. Stop by. Just let me know, and I'll have your uh, set ready for you. And then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll catch up then. Have a great evening. Enjoy your run. Hey, CFAS, can you uh, open the door? Because I've been having an internet connection uh, issue with the, with the phone. I'm going to go ahead and re-live stream this here.
All right, that should have a better connection, guys. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Fragile there. Oh, it's almost like a little piece is missing. Let's see if I got that right. How was your day, Seabass? Good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What was your highlight? Um, probably playing volleyball. Yeah? Yeah. Spiking the ball, huh? Mm -hmm. Good. Good, I'm looking good. <laughs> All right, so there's a certain section here. Feels like there's one piece missing. I'm trying to figure that out. It could come from this section here. All right, we got that. Boom. There you go. Found the piece. That's what I was missing. All right, looks like I'm about 10 minutes away from finishing this. So we're, I went a little tangent there, but this thing's moving on quickly. Hey, Josh Briggs, welcome. Go ahead and put that there. Oops, put that on the backdrop here.
we're down to the uh, down to the legs. Now, what I didn't share with you guys is that this was requiring stickers for the walker, but Again, I'm going to bypass the stickers uh, during this build. I'm not the biggest fan. I know it makes it look better, but um, I'm not really a fan of the stickers. Just say. All right, I don't know what I missed there. Hey, 22nd. Uh, yeah, I got the uh, I got the 501st Battle Pack. Have you got yours yet? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I got these guys. Check it out. Did you pre-order yours? I'll direct message you the hack on how to get it sooner. I was actually shocked today when I got the call. They called me and they said, hey, come pick up your sets. And I was like, dude, I'll be there in 20 minutes. Yes, they called me. I had them on reserve. No money either. I didn't have to put any money down. I just said, hey, call me when you get them. And they weren't anticipating to have them until the end of the month. Actually, September 1st. Uh, Seabass uh, had a long day. He was in here for a couple minutes, but uh, he's getting rest. I think he's showering up. He had a really long day. He's had to uh, spend the night at his friend's house. And um, he had volleyball practice today, so he's exhausted. But thanks for asking. I'll let him know you said hi. 
Yeah, what's interesting about getting this set, I got it at the most random place. You would never think that they would have it, but, uh, but they sure did, and that worked out. And here I am. I, I didn't get any announcements out on, um, on anything. Um, I just went ahead and, and went live. So I'm live um, on YouTube. You, you, can check, you can chime in there. I've been having some connection problems with uh, with my phone and and the internet, so Instagram hasn't been uh, that reliable for me tonight. But uh, thanks for checking in. Twenty second, I'll I'll, dare, I'll direct message you that info. I'll get it to you. But it's good stuff. In fact, um, I got another one too. I got one here. Um, I'm reserving this for my buddy Mike. Uh, he's going to stop by tomorrow and he's going to be doing a live stream on his on his YouTube channel. So you might want to check him out. It's uh the cool factor. Mike formerly of uh a brick vault. That's who we'll, who's going to have a live stream on this as well. Now he's a pro, he'll do a much better job than I. All right, let me go ahead and uh, let me get you that. Let me get you that info. There you go. Keep that to yourself, my friend. <laughs> That's a life hack for you. Thanks for the compliment. compliment. I appreciate that. They had more in stock, but I just didn't want to take take all of them. I, I could have literally taken them all. Yeah, I know um, my local Target, um, I happened to be there when they were sorting the Lego, and they are expected to have them, but they were only going to have four. So they're in limited quant qu quantities. So if you're going to buy one, make sure you get it on time or go to the store when they open. That way you can ensure uh, you could probably buy them online. I know I did a, a pre-order. Uh, I did a pre-order on, uh, I forgot what the other set, the one with the Soka. Um, I did pre-order that one through uh, Amazon. It's already paid, and I got that through uh, Ryan from m &R Production. He had posted it up on his affiliate links, and I, I chimed in.
All right, looks like I'm missing one piece. Yep, I'm gonna need to call Lego on that one because uh, it's not, it's not here. Unless I might have dropped it, but I don't think so. Yep, I gotta call him. It's not in there, or maybe it is. Who knows? Might have spoke too soon. But it's definitely going to affect the outcome of the build. But I'll modify it. So we should be good. They weren't street dated either. So I was able to pick them up, which was really nice. All right, I'm getting close to wrapping this up. Oh no. <laughs> oh, here it is. <sighs> I dropped the piece. All right, wrapping this up. This was actually a fun build. I know I got distracted quite a bit, but um, but I like it. Very enjoyable. that up for some reason this top piece here is very fragile just breaks right apart I uh, just wanted to keep it fair and um, yeah I'll tell you later
but hey, in a, in a couple of weeks from now, you'll be able to uh, to share that with everyone. Sure, that'll work. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, we had a couple extra pieces here. Um, I'm going to have to go back here, but there was one piece missing, uh, which was um, a gray piece that I'll need to call Lego and get that uh, squared away so that I can have this com set complete. Oh, actually, you know what? I just figured out what it was. I put a double piece on one, so it's not Lego's fault. It's me uh, not paying attention. To what I was doing. That's all it was. <clears throat> so yeah, that opened up quite a bit. Oh yeah. Oddly enough, it seems like, not Lego, but I'm missing another piece. I don't know if, I don't know if it fell, but I'm really struggling here with this last leg. guys I guess that's gonna conclude it um, here it is we have the walker we have the three 501st uh, clone troopers we've got a couple of droids and last but not least you have the jet jetpack 501st uh, the piece that I'm missing here to see bass is um, is this piece right here? Oh, that one? That yeah. One? Yeah. So we'll have to look for it. But uh, anyways, thanks for uh, you guys tuning in to uh, the live stream. Thanks for checking us out. Hope you enjoyed the haul. Hope you enjoyed the, the build. And uh, this set will be available hopefully tomorrow. If you look at uh, the Target or Walmart, you might want to go there early or possibly two days from now. Go there early because uh, the quantities are very limited. So uh, go ahead and check it out. Um, they might be available online as well. So make sure that if you're on East Coast time, you might want to check right now. It might even be available. So you might want to check that out today. Otherwise, you can wait until September 1st when uh, most likely the little store should have some available. Again, you're taking your chances. These things are selling out so fast. So thank you so much for tuning in. Always enjoy your support. Check out the videos that we have on this channel, and uh, there's more streams coming ahead. So thank you so much. See you soon.